For the last two years, Dr. Lance Price has been on patrol. I am that guy walking down the aisles of the grocery stores, buying every different brand of pork chops that I can find. He's been tracking some of the most dangerous bacteria in our food supply. Dr. Price is one of many scientists who suspect that 21 million pounds of antibiotics fed to healthy animals on farms to promote growth are teaching bacteria to outsmart antibiotics, creating drug-resistant strains of infections like staph. Thousands of animals tightly packed into unhygienic quarters given regular doses of antibiotics. It's a perfect scenario for drug-resistant bacteria to grow. Dr. Price's team tested 136 meat and poultry samples from grocery stores nationwide and found 47% contaminated with staph. Even more troubling, more than half the bacteria were resistant to at least three classes of antibiotics routinely used to treat skin, blood, and respiratory infections in humans. The biggest thing that came out of this study was the, the recognition that multidrug resistant staph is a, is a routine contaminant of our food supply. Even though staph can be killed by cooking meat at the proper temperature, it still poses a risk. If I was sitting here handling a piece of poultry and I was doing it on this counter and then I didn't properly clean it up, I am then making my baby's bottle. I have the potential of contaminating whatever bacteria is in the meat on the baby bottle and giving it directly to the baby and the baby being sick. So we could end up seeing the baby here because Correct. of, because of the, the poultry bought in the supermarket. Correct. One recent study found nationwide, more than 50% of all skin and soft tissue staph infections were antibiotic resistant. And to understand why that number keeps rising, today's study says, look no further than the farm. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.